Hi, Evan Pantazzi here. Uh, last week on uh, Friday, uh, I think it was the 16th of February, uh, there was a blog post on my uh, website, qshow.com. I also put a, a video up here uh, describing a technique for um, Denko, uh, which is a, an old target, came out of uh, uh, Ohan Soken's notes. It's been referred to in uh, Fujita's notes, as well as Funakoshi's and many other uh, reputed masters. Anyway, the um, Denko target uh, is um, dual fold. Okay, uh, it's called on one side, it has a reference to being a lightning bolt, as that um, video I put out for um, Emmett Doyle, who had a question on that. Uh, it had the, um, the topic or the subname of lightning bolt, whereas the opposite um, Denko target had the uh, nomiker of thunder. Well, anyway, um, most people read the blog, uh, most people watch the video, but few people put it into action. Well, we got together with the Shihans uh, on that Saturday, the um, 16th uh, of February or the day after, I forget the date. And um, what we did was we attacked it. And we did it as uh, was purported in that manual with good results. Very difficult technique, okay, and you're not going to pick it up just by knowing about it. It took us a um, better part of um, 20 minutes to start getting good results with it until we finally figured out um, what was going on and how to attack it properly, okay. Uh, it Just noting it from the book was uh, you're not going to be able to pick it up. And um, being able to apply the, the pressure the right way, uh, that's another story altogether as well. And then later on, uh, we did the concussive um, attacks on it, and uh, we found it very debilitating. One of the most painful things I've ever been through, and uh, as, as well as the other guys too, because um, we had reports from all of them over the weekend about the distresses they, they encountered with it. So very powerful, and uh, one thing I, I need to note is it wasn't liver 14. It wasn't liver 13. It wasn't any pressure point where we struck. These targets, again, are not the pressure points. And I'm just uh, letting you know, okay, we didn't hit uh, liver 14. We didn't hit liver 13. We didn't hit gallbladder 24. Those pressure points that most people think are um, named out because the Danko is in that area. It's a completely different um, uh, angle and trajectory to attack this target. Okay, and the weapon has to be more specified. Okay, it has to be directed a, a, t uh, uh, a very precise way. And uh, again, that's why we keep saying, it, you know, if you don't get on the mat and train these things and you don't have the experience with it, you only have the theoretical knowledge because you read something or saw a video of it, uh, it's not going to suit you. It's not going to work for you. It takes a lot of hands on training. Now, we've been training uh, the Danko tar target for a while, but putting it into uh, different contexts from, from what we were training, that uh, takes time too, okay? And we had many misses, then we had many successes. It just takes the hands on. But uh, on these two targets, uh, like I said, uh, still sore. Uh, this is a, a video being done on Monday, um, the uh, 18th of February. All right, and still sore as are all the other guys. All right, so uh, just want to let you know uh, this is a very powerful technique and a very powerful target, Q show target, not pressure point. All right, I, I'm trying to ram this uh, idea through to you, but the sooner you guys get that idea, the better your skills are going to get. And going back to these old documents, you really have to dig into them, like the Bubishi. The Denko, by the way, is um, the snake seachin, okay, uh, is one of the snake seachins, okay, so um, when you're looking into the Bubishi, if you don't know how to read that book, okay, or you don't have a practical um, knowledge of, a practical now, knowledge, not a theoretical knowledge, but a practical knowledge of Kyusho, 
okay? You're never going to figure out the true uh, depth of that book, okay? So uh, when you want to get your martial art to that deeper level and correlate it with a historical document called the Bubishi or other documents uh, such as Funakoshi's notes or Ohan Soken's notes or uh, any notes of any type from the past, you'll note that they're not um, listed in pressure points. They're listed in um, uh, esoteric names as the Chinese speak, like the word or the Japanese speak or the Okinawan speak, the old o Hogan uh, language. Uh, Denko is not a pressure point. All right, it is not a liver point, it's not a gallbladder point, it's a Denko, okay, Denko Kyusho. Denko is a vital target, and that's what we were after. That's what we were working on. Uh, have we perfected it? <laughs> not even close. Uh, we're going to lay low on this one for a while? You betcha, because, uh, again, two, three days later, the pain and dysfunction is still with you. Yeah, you have to um, uh, make sure that for health-wise, you train it uh, smartly, securely. And uh, we also have um, Dr. McClintock's um, ideas uh, that he forwarded with him. Brilliant, brilliant dissertation that he uh, gave us. And it correlated wonderfully with some of the things I really don't want to discuss here. But um, uh, again, a uh, very powerful target. So when you see these um, postings of mine, it's not just to um, throw something up. It's to get you to think, but more um, appropriately, it's trying to get you to act and to try to get you a practical experience with the Q Show and not just um, a theoretical one. So uh, if you're interested in getting a little bit more practical, uh, even if you're at a, a great distance, because we have many instructors that started from great uh, distance and have acquired some great skill, and if you want to get into the, um, the, the correct Q show, not the pressure point Q show, uh, contact us. And you see the link below. Contact us. Join our educational program uh, and uh, you'll be off and running. Oh, and before I forget, uh, of course, we're going to do an extended video with this. And it's going to show you some of the earlier um, tries on this uh, technique that was in the blog uh, for the Danko target. It will be in the subscription service uh, only. Sorry, but um, that's the way things are. Um, and it's a, a, a great target for you to practice. Um, and you can do it uh, on the sly. Okay, uh, if you're doing grappling, you're going to have your partner at one point or another in that position. So knowing how to try this and get a little limited result uh, and then work your way up, you can get your practical experience, even just in regular grappling. So again, you don't have to be so much in a Q show class, but uh, again, that's for the subscribers. So please see the link below and it'll take you to the extended blog. Thanks for watching.